everybody, Ann here, and today I'm, it's the day after my girl had to go to the shop, and uh, yeah, so I'm sitting here on my porch, enjoying some coffee in my cute little mug. I don't know if you can read that, I think it's backwards, but anyhow, you get the idea. And I'm just enjoying the sights and sounds of my morning. So here, just take a look around at my view. There's my drive. It's been kind of rutted, but that's okay. It's still working just fine. Love the sound of the birds. A little while ago, woodpeckers. Usually I've got three or four woodpeckers going all at once. And it just sounds so, so peaceful. And I love it. I love the view. It's very relaxing, very calming pretty quiet except for this time of the morning. You hear a few cars going by on, on the big road back behind me. It's not a big road, but it's nice. I get to watch the school bus come and go. They take the turnaround, which is awesome. And it's just nice and peaceful. I sit out here, have my coffee, just kind of chill out and think about what my day is going to be like. I'm hoping that today is going to be awesome. Um, I got a ride home. Thank you, country girl. Thank you, Andy, for letting us borrow your truck. And I'll be going to pick the van up, you know, around 9 o'clock so I can get to work. Which is awesome, but you know what? It's really weird. I feel like I've been separated from a best friend. You know, when you have a van and you kind of build it out, it doesn't matter how extravagant it is, and you've been living it out of it, in and out of it for an extended period of time, and it's been your home, it, it becomes like a family member. You know, you just love, love that vehicle, and I do. Um, she's still got many problems, but I'm sitting here looking around, and she's not here. And it feels really, really weird. But hopefully today is going to be a productive day. Um, the brakes are getting fixed. My parents, once again, are helping me. And, you know, there's a certain amount of melancholy that goes along with the joy in that because I'm getting it fixed. But I also feel burdensome. I don't want to be a burden on anybody. And um, they're happy to do it. And I, I thank the Lord that I have family who have resources because there's so many people out there who don't, who would have been stranded, who don't have anybody to help them. And so I'm very, very fortunate. But I have specifically told them they're not allowed to help me with anything else. I've got to, I've got to start finding a way to take care of more of these financial issues on my own. You know, it's going to take a job change. I'm going to DoorDash, I don't know. I just, I, I love DoorDash. I, I know in the beginning I didn't like it, but I do. It's fun. It's almost like a video game, you know. You have to, you get scored, and you have to work really hard to keep your, your scores up. So, it's kind of fun. I like it. But, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be able to do this because my expenses are so low, and I live so simply. I don't need a lot. But, you know what, I want I want a little extra spending money, you know, to start buying stuff for my tiny house. But, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get back with you after I've had my coffee and I've got the van and I'm out doing my door dashing day. So, I will talk to you guys later. Well, I don't know if things can get any worse. I'm actually much calmer than I was about five minutes ago. There's something wrong with these brakes. Right off the lot, they started squeaking, and it's, it feels like something's stuck, like a caliper is stuck. I mean, I get up, and it's the wheels start shaking, and so all at once, I was doing great, door dashing, okay? I was doing great, and making some money, and then all of a sudden, the app kicked me out, and I couldn't get logged back in so that I couldn't take more orders, but I think it was a blessing now that I think about it that that happened because it, it made me stop 
because I couldn't take any more orders and there's something wrong. I, it, I mean, it, it feels like something is stuck. And the brakes, I, I tried to not lean on them too hard, just trying to break them in, the, the new shoes, slowly. And, I mean, I'm just so upset right now. I can, I can hardly even talk. Um, but it's been squeaking all day long, even when I don't brake. And it's never, never made that noise. So, I have a feeling that this Firestone in Jackson has made a big mistake. They, they've done something or they didn't do something right. I don't know if there's a caliper that's stuck. Um, but So I had to stop work early, not only because of the DoorDash thing, but even if I could have got logged back on, I'm parked right now uh, at the fairgrounds, waiting on them to get a tow truck. I have my mom and dad on the phone. They're trying to calm me down because I have anxiety issues. And, well, first I called Firestone, and they seemed totally unconcerned. They well, we'll send her a tow truck, and if there's nothing seriously wrong, then, you know, if there's something seriously wrong, we'll, 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 we won't charge you for the tow truck. We just spent over a thousand freaking dollars on brakes and I had so hope I was going to give you good news today it's 4 p.m. it's going to be getting dark soon I don't have a ride home I'm stuck I can't sleep in my van Betty, Betty is in the house I just I don't know I don't know I, I'm just going to end this video here we'll talk to you later well, I'm waiting for the tow truck. Look at this duck. That is one weird looking duck. Let me see if I can get it over here. Look, it looks like maybe, has he been attacked? I don't know. What kind of duck is that? For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.